is in the name of the Lord who hath made heaven and earth. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the light which lights each of us. Bless these candles, and may they remind us that you are the light of the world. Inflame our hearts with the unseen fire of the Holy Spirit, and so purify us in our prayer with that flame, that we may be able to comprehend the message in the love of your word. God is to follow, so that we may gain the eternal light of heaven. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon these candles, and may it be with those who partake of them. Amen. To thee we come, O Lord, our God. recite with me the first form of the act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, who knows the innermost secrets of my heart, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. In your presence, O God, I earnestly repent of all my sins, and I am truly sorry that I have offended you. Most loving Father, have mercy on me and forgive my sins. I resolve to amend my life, to improve and sanctify it, that I may become worthy to serve you faithfully all the days of my life. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord 
grant us pardon and absolution and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. God's divine power has bestowed on us everything that makes for life and devotion through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and power. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heaven King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord our God, your Son cured the blind man who sought his mercy. Remove the blindness of our hearts and enlighten our minds that we may gain true insight and see your glory. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Father, as we observe the anniversary of the passing of our brother Robert Jakonowski into his eternal rest, we ask for your grace and blessing. Accept him into your eternal kingdom and bring us the consolation of always trusting in your care. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. is a reading from the book of Jeremiah the prophet. Thus says the Lord, shout with joy for Jacob, exult at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mothers and those with child, they shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road, so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel. Ephraim is my firstborn. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks The responsorial song. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. 
Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. And the Lord has done great things for us, and we are joy. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son, this day I have begotten you, just as he said in another place. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek sorry. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Pay attention to this foolish and senseless people who have eyes and see not, who have ears and hear not. Should you not fear me, says the Lord? Should you not tremble before me? Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those that were bowed down. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. was leaving Jericho and his disciples in a sizable crowd. Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprung up and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus.
name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Jesus Christus. My brothers and sisters, before we, before I begin to, to deliver my homily to you, I ask that you remember in your prayers today those who lost their lives in Pittsburgh, the 11 worshipers who, like you, came to a holy place to pray to Almighty God. And let us also remember those that were injured as well as the families who lost dear loved ones and are praying for those who were injured to be healed. What would you have me do for you? The blind man said, Lord, that I may see. These words are taken from today's Holy Gospel, according to Mark. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, gathered in the name of Jesus. There are 34 separate miracles that are found in the Gospel accounts during the ministry of Jesus. Of these 34 miracles, four are where Jesus restored sight to the blind. What makes this miracle unique is that we have the name of the individual. His name was Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus. Now the name Bartimaeus is not a typical Jewish name. Bartimaeus may have been Greek and possibly even a Gentile by birth. The encounter of Jesus and Bartimaeus tells us something today about God's nature and sheds light on what type of faith and prayer is needed for a miracle to happen. We read that as Jesus was walking by him, Bartimaeus heard who it was and cried out to him, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. By calling Jesus, son of David. This blind man was affirming his belief that Jesus was indeed the Messiah. The people around him told Bartimaeus to be quiet, but he kept on calling out even more loudly than before. This shows the depth of his faith. He would take no for an answer. Not only did Bartimaeus believe that Jesus was the Messiah, he believed strongly in Jesus' love and goodness to the poor and to the needy. Bartimaeus believed that Jesus was not like other religious leaders who believed that an individual's poverty or blindness or bad circumstances were a result of God's judgment but rather Bartimaeus believed in God's character as we read in the book of Psalms that God truly cares for the poor and for the broken hearted. Jesus in his love and mercy responds to Bartimaeus <clears throat> telling his disciples to call the blind man over. I am sure that Bartimaeus jumped up as quickly as he could when called, and he came to Jesus. What would you have me do for you? Jesus asks him. Now this blind beggar did not ask for money or food, but his faith in Jesus was bigger than this. Master, I want to see. Bartimaeus had a deep desire, and he ran to Jesus with this desire. Bartimaeus also had a deep faith and belief that Jesus was both willing and able to restore his sight. Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. By Jesus saying, Your faith has saved you, 
Jesus emphasizes to all of us the need for faith. Blind Bartimaeus had the kind of faith that produces miracles. A wholehearted belief in the healing power of God. Jesus showed once again that God rewards those who earnestly seek him and that nothing is impossible when one reaches out to God with humility. Do miracles happen? Yes. But we need to use Bartimaeus as a template by which miracles happen. Bartimaeus, his faith in Jesus was genuine. So many times people have heartedly turned to God in their needs and in their troubles. But look to Bartimaeus. He surrendered himself completely to Jesus. So must we wholeheartedly surrender ourselves to the love, the mercy, and to the presence of God. And this surrender, my brothers and sisters, to God is not only for our needs, but also for those for whom we love and whom we pray for. We are reminded in the Gospel of John that Jesus will never leave us comfortless, that he will come unto us. As he healed the sick, cleansed the lepers, caused the crippled to walk, the deaf to hear, and the blind to see, Jesus comes to us in our needs if we truly go to him as Bartimaeus did that day outside of Jericho. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
most merciful Father. We most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord, especially the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry and the homeless, for all abused and neglected children in our world, for all victims of violence both here and abroad, for all those who serve in our armed forces, and all here present, whose faith and devotion are known to you for whom we offer, or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing to yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you. He blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, Again, he gave thanks to you. Blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do these things, do them in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and 
accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice in the Immaculate Host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar and to the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servant Robert, who has gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleeps. To his soul, O Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name, their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but parting our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Lord Jesus Christ, 
You said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. <laughs> Though I am not... For I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness. May become my safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in us of living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing through this communion. Make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant this who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me. I will take the chalice of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be Let's see. 
or put a stumbling block in front of the blind, but you shall fear your God, for I am the Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty eternal God, may our gratitude for the Eucharistic gift we have received bring us ever closer to you. Hear our prayers offered for the blindness of the world, so that all people may be delivered by the light of your truth. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful God, through this Holy Eucharist, we are united with our Lord Jesus, who rose from the dead. May our brother Robert, whose anniversary of death we honor, be joined with you in the new Jerusalem. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. has been offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy trinity, grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord, amen. May the almighty and merciful God Bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Lord, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through him all things came into being, and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be found the light, life for the light of men. The light shines on it in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John, sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light, the real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. And he who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. and their efforts to make yesterday's fall bizarre. A truly good thing amid all the rain for all who came in and gave support. It is also greatly appreciated. I bring to mind that today we blessed votive candles. Um, I asked a few weeks ago that on Sunday evening at 7 o'clock that we set time aside for 15, 20 minutes in prayer. 
I apologize for not being able to finish the devotion, but I will be finishing the devotion sometime this afternoon and to send the devotion out to everyone. But especially, I call upon uh, our dear brothers and sisters who want to continue to, to take that time on, on Sunday evening at 7 o'clock to pray for the blessings of Almighty God, for those who are sick, for our friends, our family, our neighbors. And so, again, we have 12, 12 candles. Maybe we can find 12 that would be willing to be a part of the prayer group. Um, I bring to mind this week, uh, tomorrow is the Feast of St. Simon and Jude, Apostles of the Lord. I will be um, uh, offering Mass at 9 o'clock, 7 o'clock, uh, tomorrow evening, adult discussion group, except we want to put a little bit of a different twist on this. Uh, as you know, I came back from Pittsburgh this past um, week, where I attended the National uh, Mission and Evangelism Commission. We would like to talk and actually create in our parish uh, subcommittee where we can basically implement the, um, the ideas. There's a lot that has been discussed there's a lot of information that needs to be disseminated. So please, if you can, tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock, adult discussion group. I bring to mind Thursday, November 1st, is a holy day of obligation. It is the solemnity of all saints. Holy Mass will be offered here in church on this uh, very special day. I also bring to mind that on Friday, which is November 2nd, the observance of all souls. Holy Mass will be celebrated here in church. Also in the back of the church in the vestibule, you will find envelopes. And um, these are for the intentions of your loved ones. And these names will be read uh, on Thursday as well as on Sunday. I bring to mind also next Saturday I have scheduled uh, a parish cleanup day. I'm going to be talking to Bob Ahern so that we can get the leaves up. I think most of the leaves have already come down. And so if you can, for a couple of hours, we'd like to just kind of go around the church property and, uh, and do a general cleanup. Um, I, I welcome all rakes and, uh, and refreshments will be served afterward. Um, let's see, what else? Um, after Mass, after Mass, um, downstairs, we're going to have the raffle, correct? That is correct. We have a lot of, uh, still a lot of kebabi, galumpi, lasagna, some soups left. And kapusta. Yeah, and some goodies <laughs> down there as well. And there's always coffee for our social hour. Um, you still can buy raffle tickets if you would like to buy raffle tickets. I'll do the last call before we start pulling the names for the, uh, for the raffle, but uh, please come down and, uh, you know, help, help Holy Game sell all the peonies and the guampies, and uh, I don't think we have the pies all I don't think so. No, I think the pies all went. Yeah. And, uh, there's some sauerkraut and pork down there still, I think. I don't know if there's any beans. Um, no beans. There's no beans. No okay. beans. So, please come yeah. down and, uh, I hear the lasagna was really good. I didn't get a chance to chase it myself, but I'm uh, sure we came back for seconds before we uh, must say something. So please come down and uh, support us. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Teresa. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone that after Mass next Sunday, we're going to have a reception for Father Corber. Um, it's kind of a year in the making. It was supposed to be a welcome reception. Um, but everyone's been very busy, so it's really just an acknowledgement of his being here for a year. Uh, brunch will be served, a nice variety of food, and it's right after Mass, and we welcome everyone. We hope everyone will come. Well, you know, if I had the opportunity... <laughs> you know, if anybody deserves, if anybody deserves a breakfast, it's the good people of this parish. And I share with you next week, because without you, it can't take place. Peg. I will be downstairs also selling cal calendars. If you remember last year, we sold the calendars. And uh, we have, I think, eight left. So if you're interested in a beautiful 2019 calendar, see me. 
downstairs. Thank you, Peg. As most of you read that little article about what happened to me in Pittsburgh, it's interesting because when we were on the plane together and we were talking, just as we were about to, to depart the plane, I asked her to, her name is Maria, to, to pray for my ministry. And she confided in me to pray for her because she was just diagnosed with cancer. So things happen for reasons. So if you can, in our prayers today, as I said, to pray for those dear people who were at Shabbos to uh, worshiping their God and how needlessly their lives were taken. Um, also prayers for our sister, Andrea, who is going to be going under for surgery tomorrow. Andrea, our thoughts and our prayers are with you. Are there any other intentions? Yes. Afterward, let the whipping begin. Um, <laughs> I didn't say it, <laughs> <laughs> Well, if I can't take another moment of your time, I think this is a part of our community that just as we sang happy birthday for Teresa last week, that we can also take the time. Bill, our very best, our wishes for you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. God be with all of us. Oh, just one more thing. Yes, Peg. Oh, I'm sorry, Shirley. Surgery this Wednesday, oh, yeah. so we have to keep her in our prayers. And uh, just as Teresa said, next Saturday we'll, we'll be setting up downstairs about nine o'clock. The yeah. same time we're working on the outside, so if anybody can help with the sure. practice, that would be And I think I also failed to mention that we have choir rehearsal for Thursday. We're trying to do that. Trying to do that. Okay. Good enough. So, to be continued. Ellen. Um, not this week, but next week, my brother-in-law will be moving up here. Um, and he needs a lot of prayers. And uh, my sister, Elizabeth, also, please. Yes. Richard. At 12 noon, AFW post 3295, I have an event report. There's no charge, it takes about a half hour to walk that addition that they do and have a, a card on your chest for back to represent the measure that you want to represent. Wonderful. I'll, I want to get more information from you downstairs because I think it is uh, it's so needed for us to support our dear veterans. Again, thank you. God bless, and let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Glory
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, and now, and shall be world, and And for the repose of the soul of Robert Jakonowski, as well as for all our faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.